What up is Marcus Spicy Football Dads? Before you click away, we have a very important giveaway. And it's not even from me. So uh, stick around just in a couple seconds here. But I'm giving away Jerry Judy three signed jersey. It's still in my possession. I don't want it anymore. So just take it. So all you have to do is be a subscriber. When we get to a thousand, it'll be given away by one of you guys. So one of our uh, Patreon supporters, one of our Dynasty dads, uh, Michael, I'm not going to butcher your last name, so I'm just going to say Michael M. Uh, he has eight, eight preseason tickets. It's actually, I think it's 334, row three something along those lines, maybe not the exact details. Uh, I'm going to have him comment in this video. And if you are somebody that is in Minnesota and you want to take your kid out to a game or whatever it might be, uh, contact Michael here. Maybe send your email address. I know he can transfer the tickets uh, through that way. So I think that's going to be an awesome thing. I think we play the Colts the second preseason game. It's the last preseason game before actual football here. So thank you, Michael, to uh, reaching out to us. I unfortunately, I am gone out of town this weekend or else I'd love to join you. And maybe in 2022, we do something like this where if he's okay with preseason tickets, are not crazy valuable, but maybe maybe uh, eight of us go, a Dynasty Dads go to a preseason game or something like that and just have fun. All right, so what are you here for? As you saw the title, the title says uh, what draft tips, biggest tips of what to do. This matters for Dynasty startups and redrafts, not so much rookie drafts, so sorry if this is a, if you want the rookie stuff. Uh, you're not going to get that, but you are. I am going to do a re kind of video uh, reacting to the top, I think it's nine rookies, um, and I altered the format with me against uh, Dynasty Football Flock, so me versus Mason. I, I did it basically uh, him, me, him, me, him, me. And I want to see your guys' opinion on what that looks like here. That'll either be tomorrow or uh, Saturday. All right, so the first thing is tier based drafting. It matters in startup, it matters in uh, redraft as well. This is almost the most important thing. Find your tiers. Uh, place them right off the bat. There are different breaks in tiers. For example, just the top two running backs, CMC, Cook, and Redraft. Then there's a tier break to Kamara and then to Saquon and so forth. And Jonathan Taylor and Chubb and all that. There's tiers through there. And, and maybe for Dynasty, that Kamara's right in there. Maybe not. Whatever your tiers are, make sure you have tiers through there. You will be able to see some really important points of like crap. There's one tier three running back and there's five tier three wide receivers. Don't reach on a wide receiver then, especially if you like a couple of those tier three, tier, what did I say, tier three wide receivers, whatever they are. Then then go after that running back. Or maybe there's one tier two running back left and then all of a sudden there's no tier two wide receivers. So take that running back. It's going to be that value. So that is one of the biggest things that I say is tier based drafting that is in uh, redraft leagues and that is in dynasty startup leagues. Those are the, it's one of the most important things. It, it, if you're not doing it, I think really you're missing out on key aspects. And there's a couple different aspects to that as well, that looking at other teams, I think that's gonna be helpful. And we'll, we'll talk about that. Number two, uh, avoid injuries. Avoid, avoid, avoid the injuries. Because what happens, unfortunately, is we we get players like Kenny Galladay, or even, I would say Saquon is a little bit because he had last, last year's injury, but Kenny Galladay, Rashad Bateman, if Rashad Bateman was a veteran, or any, any player that you're seeing is getting injured, Start moving them down to your draft board. Marquise Brown, who's not even on my board, pretty much. I mean, he's like 70th on line receiver. He's, I mean, he's injured. Just know, especially soft tissue, hamstrings, calf, groins. Those are things that we commonly see over and over and over again. And that's a really bad red flag of like, this could be something that you're just going to battle through throughout the, throughout the year. And just project that you're not going to get 17 games from them. That you might get 12. And does that change your opinion? Michael Thomas is coming back from a foot surgery. What do we expect from that? Do we expect wide receiver 10? Well, yeah, if healthy. But hey, we don't even know what his quarterback is. So like, these are things that you have to do. Avoid, avoid injuries at all costs if possible. Because it's going to happen to your team. But if you're starting off already with injuries, it doesn't help. <laughs> all right, number three, take your guy. Uh, especially, uh, I see this a lot where you have a, let's say you're 20th. You're on the clock. And there's a guy that's like 30th, but he's your number one guy. Instead of taking 30th, you take the 21st guy because, or the 20th guy because he's ranked 10 spots higher. No, take your guy, especially if you know you're not going to have a pick for a little while. This happens big on some of these turns on snakes where you may have pick two. You may have pick two and was it 23? And you may have pick 25 and whatever that is, 30, 25, I don't know what it is, 49, 48, something like that. So if you have a guy that's like 37th, and but he's your guy, then take your guy. Because a lot of times these guys are in kind of tiers. And, and if it's your guy, take them. Like, just take them. 
Uh, I would rather, you, I've done it so many times in the past four or five years ago where I don't take my guy and I regret it because I take the guy that was higher ranked because I was like, ah, he's higher ranked and everyone's going to like it more. And no, it, it, it always backfires. It always backfires. Uh, number four, see what others have. When you are on turns, you're team 10, there's team 11, team 12. You're sitting in the fifth round. You need a quarter, you want a quarterback. Uh, maybe it's even, uh, maybe it's a, a startup, whether it's a redraft, doesn't matter. You want a quarterback and you see the other two teams don't have quarterbacks. Well, okay, that, that's a little risky, like knowing that they might take them or you can look and see, oh, maybe both of them do have quarterbacks. Well, then I don't need to take that quarterback or one of two take it, have a quarterback. Okay, well now I need to worry about one team. Well, let's look at his, does he have, does he have a tight end? Okay, well, he has a, maybe you're in round even four. It's like, oh, he has tight end, running back, wide receiver. Man, that team's going to look really thin if they do take a quarterback. Maybe they are dumb and take a quarterback. But, hey, you know what? Just look at what others have. Also, I see a lot of times teams that have three, four, five running backs and three wide receivers, and then they you can kind of project, okay, they're probably going to have to go more uh, the other, they're going to have to build up on the other position in their light on. Exactly, same things for, for QBs later. It's like, okay, you're sitting at round 10 and there's four, te- or maybe there's one, maybe you're the only team left. Let's just say you're round 10 and you're the only team left without a quarterback. Okay, well, are, be- are teams going to start taking backups? Are you okay with just sitting at and getting a quarterback 13, 14, whatever it might be, maybe a Tannehill in Dynasty or even in Redraft or a, even a Stafford or something like that? Are you okay with that? Like knowing that what others have is a very important integral part and sometimes we just get narrowed in, focused on what we have. And I've seen this so often where... A team, it it happened even last year, came around and I was the team actually at the two position. There's a team at three that really wanted, I believe it was George Kittle. I believe it was George Kittle. It was was a tight end. I think it was George Kittle at that time. Because it was around three, yeah. Uh, And he decided that he was going to wait and try to get George Kittle on the way back. Well, I didn't have a tight end. In fact, I had a running back and wide receiver. So I was like, I'll take George Kittle. Like that is the risk that you're going to have to make. It's happened even later that, that that same time, I even saw another person say, man, I could go quarterback here. There's about four teams left without a quarterback and two of them are after me, but I'm gonna take the wide receiver. <laughs> and then all of a sudden the, the two, two quarterbacks go and he's like, ah, why did I do that? It happens redraft, happens in Dynasty. We need to make sure that we try to limit those, uh, those problems. Next one, have a plan. This is in redraft, this is in dynasty, this is in every rookie draft, any draft that you have, have a plan. Whether it's, are you, are you, how do I say this right? <laughs> are you, go, for dynasty, are you going win now or are you building for later? Are you building some youth to hopefully burst in a year or two? Uh, if it's redraft, uh, are you a guy that takes quarterbacks a little bit early? Are you a guy that takes tight ends a little bit early? Um, the biggest overall thing, mock draft. Just mock, 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 mock. Sleeper has it. I think they're really good. Uh, Fantasy Pros has a has a version as well that I've used a ton. I don't like doing it with other people because other people suck. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's just they, they end up taking kickers first round, and I'm like, especially ESPN used to do that. I'm like, well, this is not fun. Or they or they take or they do what they. That I'm going to take somebody else and see how long my guy falls. Well, that doesn't really help you figure out well what is going to actually happen. I think Fantasy Pros is a really good ADP version of it. Sleeper is also a really good mock draft tool to kind of see dynasty, redraft, whatever, rookie draft, like where, what am I projected to look at? And no, my, my last kind of two things, my next one, always prepare for chaos. No plan ever goes, as, no ever draft goes as planned. I've done 90 million drafts. I've done probably 100 drafts. I don't know. It, it never goes as the mock draft. But just know that you at least have a good baseline and you're like, okay, well, I'm somewhat prepared. I know where these guys kind of land. Because it just always happens. All of a sudden, somebody goes, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going Pat Mahomes at the end of the first round. And you're like, what? Why? Why are you doing that in redraft? Or it's Dynasty startup, maybe Superflex. And then all of a sudden, maybe the first six teams go quarterback. And you're like, uh, I was number seven and I was expected that maybe like CMC and maybe some other running backs were going to go off and I'd get a top three, four quarterback. No, like it always seems to amaze me that something goes on and maybe it's not in the first round, maybe it's the fifth round, 10th round, whatever happens. Usually it's the first couple rounds, you know, like, you're like, oh gosh, okay. I even had a, I had um, a year where all of a sudden, um, I, the first round went by, I was like, 
I got to take Antonio Brown. Like, I love running backs, but I got to take him to Antonio Brown. I think the next round came on. I think I was like Des Bryant. I was like, I got to take Des Bryant. Or was it Des Bryant? I think it might have been Des Bryant. And then like, the next round came around. I'm like, there, I got to take another wide receiver. No one's taking wide receivers. And I ended up having three top wide receivers. We started three wide receivers in the league. And I had three top wide receivers, three top, like, seven wide receivers. I had three of the top seven. And yeah, my running backs struggled and sucked for a little bit. But, like, you just never know. You always have to plan and adapt, and it's fun. And the last, that's why I lead into my last thing, have fun. This is fun. If you want to draft a Minnesota Viking, go for it. Uh, except if it's Adrian Peterson. I've done that twice, and I've had him both years that he didn't, he decided he didn't want to play after week one. Yeah, both years. Yep, I got the number one pick, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then boom, uh, an ACL injury, and then, no, it wasn't an ACL injury. What about me beat his kid? which I don't agree with that at all. Uh, and number two, I don't remember what happened. I just remember I had him both, both, I was like ecstatic. I was like, I get AP. And then both years he, he put, then literally, I think it was like the year after his ACL injury. I think he, I had like the number two pick and AP went right before and then he had or something like that. And he had like 2000 some yards rushing and was eight yards away from the record. I'm like, yeah, well he had like eight points for me total in fantasy. So I'm pretty bitter about that. Uh, so no, no bitterness about it or anything like that. Uh, anyways, so, so have fun. Draft Vikings. If you're a Viking fan, do it. Don't, don't worry about it. If you draft it too high, Adam Thielen's going to get drafted too high in our league. And what I made it, it, for shits and gigs, I might actually draft him earlier too. I might just draft him around earlier because eh, I like having Adam Thielen. It's fun watching your fantasy player dominate or at least do well on every Sunday. And I, I've had I've never had Delvin Cook. I would like to have Delvin Cook. It just seems that the world does not want me to have Delvin Cook. <laughs> but I would love, 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 love to watch him every Sunday. But usually it's every Sunday he's against me in some format and destroying me. But that's all right. So again, have fun. So again, if you want those dynasty, or not dynasty, if you want those uh, preseason tickets, talk to Michael M here. He'll be commenting shortly. This is a Jerry G. San Jersey. You haven't hit a thousand yet. I want to give that away. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Take care. Oh, and join Patreon if you want to be a part of the league. We only have a couple spots left. All right. Bye. Now turn up.